The whole system is unstable. If I wait long enough, they'll jump all the way from this side over to there. I'm going to be talking about little r, the coefficient of restitution. If I drop this ball from this height, it will bounce up to a smaller height. And again. Now, the ratio of the velocity coming away from the floor to the velocity just as it goes into the floor, that's called the, ratio, uh, the coefficient of restitution, has the symbol r. If the coefficient of restitution is zero, people call that a dead cat bounce, and it's something to do with the stock market. So rather than bringing a dead cat, I've got a glove puppet of a cat, and if you drop it down, it just doesn't move off the floor. So this has a coefficient of restitution of zero. Do it again, yeah. the other way up. As the ball comes down, it gathers speed, and as it hits the bottom, it squashes down and then distorts. And this distorting of the ball leads to energy losses in the ball, which will heat it up, and then it bounces up. Energy is always conserved, but the kinetic energy of the ball is reduced. It's gone from being kinetic energy of motion into some heat internal to this. Or it could bounce and give out a noise, and you radiate sound waves away. Well, I'm going to do a... I'll show you an experiment in which this is a container which has little yellow plastic beads. You can see they've got a hole in the middle of them. I, they're the sort they of I think they're orange. No, no, they, maybe they are yellow. No, think? they're orange, yes, you're right. I can't tell colours. I'm sort of strange that shirt, way. You can't tell colours. <laughs> and I'll cover them up because I'm going to shake this up and down quite violently. And they're roughly equal numbers on both sides. This is a loudspeaker, a simple loudspeaker. And I'll stick with blue tack the cell on the top. And I'm going to shake it up and down using signal generator. And you haven't wired it up. Oh, George. You You've been down. talking to all the pretty ladies, George. So, shall I start? Go on. So I'm going to turn up the amplitude, and it should start jiggling around. And now what's happening is, as you feed, and this base goes up and down, you're causing the particles to jiggle around a bit. And as you increase the amplitude, sometimes they jiggle higher and higher in the bed, they have more and more kinetic energy, and they can hop over the barrier. So let's do it up to about there, and they can hop over, and they do. Well, you'd think it would remain the same. We're seeing particles go from this side to that side, and they're hopping over, and as soon as uh, they've all gone over, I'm gonna turn, oh, cocked it up, didn't I? Went the wrong way. There, I've got complete separation. It's, it's amazing they've all gone on one side. It seems totally counterintuitive. You've been throwing them up and down, and suddenly they've organised themselves on one side. What happened was they started off, and there were slightly less particles on one side than the other. Because there are slightly less particles over here, the energy that's fed in the base is constant, but the collisions between them are fewer. Whereas on this side there are more particles, and the collisions between them are greater. It's as though you're in a disco on this side with very few people dancing on the floor and on that side they're all packed together bumping into each other. Whereas on this side there's much more space they can move around each other. So these get more energetic and start swinging around a bit more and hop over the top. And so once a few have come over this side this is unstable for more one to come over that side because these start jiggling around more and more and more and coming over the other side. And so the whole thing is unstable and everybody wants to cram in the most popular disco. All right, I'm going to turn it on again, and we've filled it up on both sides with roughly the same number of particles, and as I increase the amplitude, you can see that the particles get more and more agitated, and eventually they will start to get so agitated that some can run from one side, to the, jump from one side to the other. And as they do so, there are more on the left, on my left, this side, compared to the right. And as a result, there are more collisions on the, this side, there are more collisions between these particles, which means that they lose more energy. Same amount of energy is coming in from the base, but there are a few particles over here, fewer collisions, so these are getting much more excited. You can see they're jumping much more, and they hop over much more than on this side. So this side is losing particles all the time to that side, and the more particles that go over, the more compact this becomes, the greater the number of collisions. So it's as though the whole system is unstable. If I wait long enough, they'll jump all the way from this side over to there. This seems to violate all the laws of physics because we throw things up and think we're going to randomise them. But here we're doing it 
Well, it's all to do with the collisions between the particles being inelastic. They lose energy because the coefficient of restitution is so much less than one that it's almost like a dead cat bounce. Not quite. So they're jumping over and they all go over to one side because they're colliding and losing much more energy on this side because there were so many more collisions than there were on that side. So the particles on this side thinned out. They all had high energy. They could jump up and this actually is a filter only going this way. They weren't allowed to go back so easily. Once it starts to go, it builds up. Of course, if you start off with equal numbers in both sides, you have no way of knowing which way it's going to go. But as soon as the first one jumps, it's more likely that another one will jump that way than that way. Of course, it could jump back again, but after a while you get so many extra on this side that it's bound to go that way. And I can't tell you beforehand, without counting out the numbers, which way it will go.